Pats were with the G League Coach of the Month. Jamel McMillan won the award yesterday for uh, leading this club to a fine performance in the month of November, six and three. Congratulations on the honor, well deserved. Uh, thank you very much. Just testament to the guys, testament to my staff. You know, they've all competed the right way, they played the right way, and so we've had a lot of fun. Ben Carloni comes down to the team huddle after practice. Everybody, get, you're pre yeah. you got to be thinking, what's going on here? Yeah, yeah. He, he texts me and asks me to address the team, and you know, generally that's not a good, not a good thing. And so, um, again, shout out to everybody involved so far. All the support from everywhere. Uh, it's been a cool first month and a lot of work to do. Crews looking to move on tonight in the win column against a team they've already beat this year. That team from Cleveland comes in, the charge, a team that you beat, but it wasn't without a fight. Amani Bates and his crew's back, and uh, they're trying to get revenge in Detroit. How do you prevent it uh, this time around? <laughs> Just trying to set the tone for the night. You know, obviously, Amani coming back home, and he's electric. You know, he's a very good basketball player that can get it going from all over the basketball floor, and so we've got to disrupt tonight. You know, that's the word of the night is disrupt make these guys make another play. And so, you know, urgency is up. The guys are ready to go, and we've had a good couple days of preparation for it. No Jared Roden your last time out in your loss uh, to the herd. No Jared Roden again tonight. Uh, get us up to speed on what's going on with your top two-way guy. Uh, Jared's had a high usage uh, season so far, and so back locked up a little bit. Um, nothing too crazy to worry about. Just want to prevent him from doing any further damage and we have a week here uh, with just one game this week and one this weekend and so trying to let him calm down a little bit and get back uh, to where he's feeling feeling able to move actually and so uh, you know we've got a lot of guys our, our rosters here Stan is back you know and everything and so we've got a lot of guys eager and ready to uh, go out and compete despite the law Xavier Simpson again showed that he can score the ball uh, mm -hmm. For those that were wondering, he put up 30 again the second time he's done that this year with 30 plus. Kind of fun to watch him score the basketball efficiently and do his other things too, right? <laughs> yeah, I call I call Xavier Rondo, man. He he uh, he's tricky. Yeah. He's tricky, but uh, he he's been awesome for our group. You know, the leadership that he has just taken by the reins has, has been really a breath of fresh air for me, especially on the basketball floor. And so. There's ultimate trust in him and what he's been able to do this so far this year. Uh, he's really looking to his teammates and communicating with them well, and so really proud of what he's put together so far. Down Jared Roden tonight, a chance for you to get one at home. Team's lost two out of three. What's it going to take to bounce back without JR? What kind of lessons did you learn without him moving forward? Yeah, again, it's just attention to details. Just got to understand tendencies of this group. They, they shoot it really well from the three-point line. But we've got to get to our pace within the details. You know, we've got to get out and run, make some misses, get up and down the basketball floor. Um, but we've got to make sure that our defense is fueling our offense and not allowing our offense to kind of dictate our, our pulse on the defensive end. And so I think we're in a good place. I think we're in a good spot. You know, guys understand where they are and the roles have kind of been defined a little bit more as they trust each other and understand where their opportunities can come from on the floor. But um, it's part of it. I'm, I'm really excited to get December started, and uh, it should be a good one tonight. He's the G League Coach of the Month. He's got this club off to a roaring start, 6-3. and three. All the best continued yeah. success. Thanks for taking the time, Jamal. Absolutely, man. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.